what about what about um, the the server operating system itself? And <clears throat> you know, I, I we're of course we're a Microsoft shop here, and you know I hate to say it, but you know what ninety ninety five percent of the line of business apps out here uh, uh, run on Windows and. So I'm going to talk about Windows Server first. Well, when there's the news version is Windows Server 2008. This was re recently released. Um, basically, it comes in different versions. There's a standard version that's uh, about a thousand bucks, okay. And you define the role of the server. What and by a role, what is it going to do? Is it going to have what's called an Active Directory. Is it going to be? Is it going to run the domain? That's the first thing. You know, a domain is your uh, your network, so to speak, and the domain is going to have an Active Directory. And that directory is going to be like a database of all your different policies that users can do, their usernames, passwords, all that sort of thing. And it kind of keeps, you know, the catalog of all this on on, on board that server. It can be a print server where you share a printer to it and it, it manages print jobs and all that sort of thing. It can be a file server. It can, it can act as a, a, a web server. It, so there's a lot of different roles that you pick and choose for the server operating system. Now the thing about Windows servers is, is that the $1,000 version, uh, up to five users can connect to that server at any time with the initial client access license. That's how Microsoft does things. They either, you know, they either they license the server software, and then you have to pay for the users to access that uh, server as well. Um, then there's an enterprise version, which is about four thousand dollars, and that allows up to twenty-five different users. And then there's a data center edition that doesn't come with any client access licenses, and it's uh, licensed on the number of process. Physical processor uh, is three thousand, you know, three thousand bucks. You have dual processors, and it's six thousand uh, dollars. SQL Server, I believe, is licensed. You can like get it at that license a per processor. Not to be confused with a multi-core chip. If you, for example, have a Xenon processor with four cores, that would should only count as one processor. So understand that as well. Um, there are, uh, so there's a standard, there's an enterprise, there's a data center, there's a web server version of it um, as well. Then there's Small Business Server 2008, which comes in two versions, a standard version and a premium edition. The only major difference between the two, well, there's actually two. One is the price, and the second is the edition, uh, the premium version also has a standard version of uh, SQL Server 2008 uh, with it. Now, what's interesting is the licensing uh, is the, the older version of Small Business Server said uh, uh, you had to install the, the version of SQL Server on the same machine that was running Small Business Server. And <clears throat> believe me, if you have a busy shop and you're doing a lot of data intensive work and you're also trying to run Exchange Server and SharePoint and all these other things, you can really, really, really drag down a, uh, a server. So I think this is great news that now you can uh, that you can do that and, and actually install the SQL server on a different server box but still use the uh, small business server license so that's that's good news um, there's some new uh, new features that come with it uh, of course it comes with remote web workplace outlook over the web uh, SharePoint exchange server uh, SQL server but also now it's going to be coming with a uh, Microsoft Forefront and uh, as I understand it, Office Live. So all these things are going to be included in the Small Business Server. That's one of the areas that I focus in on is Microsoft Small Business Server, uh, and that's really uh, it, and it's really designed. It can handle up to 75 uh, users uh, as well. Uh, probably you get into shops with over about you know 40 50 people you may want to consider 
uh, going separate servers, the Windows 2008 server. Now Microsoft is rolling out uh, something new uh, to kind of fill the gap between uh, small business server and the regular edition of Windows Server and it's called uh, Essential Business, Microsoft Essential Business Server. Um, and I think that uh, I'm really not up to speed on that yet. Uh, but it's supposed to be more for a mid-sized uh, company rather than buying the enterprise stuff. But it gives you a lot more bang for your buck, I think, than the Windows Server 2008. So those are kind of some of the things coming down the road with uh, Windows Server.